<sighs> We're clean up today? It's further away than the school, right? We have to get dressed in so don't, we don't be late. Alright. Hello and welcome back to, uh, Persona Sorry, 5 Royal here. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Let's, uh, do this uh, cleanup session or whatever. You go to Shujin, right? I heard things have been rough there lately. What with that violent incident. You want to go talk about it somewhere? Thank you for your concern. However, I really am in a hurry, so if you'd excuse me... Come on, there's no need to be shy. Like I said... If you're busy, I'll put my number in your phone so you can call me later. Sound like a plan? Stop it. I can't overlook this. What do you want? You're hurting her. Don't get worked up. I'm just being friendly here. What the? What are you getting so jumpy about? Like you're anything special. Uh. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary though. Uh, uh um. May I ask you something? So, what made you step in to help me? Well, you know, there was a guy that was just attacking you in a public square, so, you know, couldn't really, uh, look the other way. I see. Well, I apologize for asking something so strange. You're headed to the cleanup as well, right? The cleanup? Yeah, you're supposed to be in your time. gym clothes. Did you not I'm so get that sorry. memo? I haven't even thanked you properly yet. Oh no, I forgot my gym clothes at school. I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. All right. Pardon me. took you so long did you really come here from home in your gym clothes well yeah is that weird no that's not what I meant huh ain't it normal and uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit of course not I brought my gym clothes with me I was gonna change in the bathroom but now there's a huge line oh that makes sense Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. It's such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. Bone, well, are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a difference. There you are, Dr. Maroki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. See you all later. Hmm. I can't remember if I brought any like starchy Taro vegetables. <laughs> More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. Good morning, Shujin Academy students and staff. Please pick up all trash located in the areas assigned to your group. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup! So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. They're four people apiece, boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your groups and head to your assigned areas. All right, now let's just get this over with as fast as possible so we can chow down on that soup and get out of here. Hey, that guy? 
Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Yeah. You mean the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Whoa, awesome! I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. Oh, nah. Sweet, a wallet! Anything in it? Whoa, yeah, shit ton! We go in splitsies on this? Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? Man, this park is trash. The way this was all done by kids, it's gotta be the work of some no-good adults, too. If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Sure. Oh, are you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh. I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pots, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Why is the wind salty? Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their teams? So, after the soup's doled out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh, including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but that sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you! I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? Eh, we're banned. Ah, I see. I'm in pretty much the same situation. If it's alright with you, why don't we eat our soup together? I mean, sure. Great! Thanks for the food. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. I mean, you're welcome. Yes. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what happened the other day. Uh, about what? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Yeah, I remember that. discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, 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 oh. the delinquent transfer student? Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you, too. I mean, were you surprised? I was, but I haven't paid it any real mind. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. What were all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant tusk trafficking, was it? Oh yeah, I did that last one. I do that all the time. Uh... <laughs> I guess I'll make a joke, sure. <laughs> Even I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know 
what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. Oh, yeah. I'm a uh, Raikkonen, a second year. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. Actually, there's no need for you to be so polite. I am an underclassman after all. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that my... Oh, you just dropped the balloon. What the hell just happened? I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems to be a Shinjin Academy pocketbook. The name on this is Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside. Kasumi, okay. Just in time. Here you are. Don't let go of things you like, okay? Sorry, I didn't mean to run out on you like that. Ah, uh, you drop this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Yoshizawa, a first year. Yoshizawa. I will not remember how to pronounce that name whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, are you an athlete? Figured that out too, huh? Well, yes, I compete in gymnastics. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey, Isn't that Don't you think some of those jump? moves would be awfully useful? I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? I want to learn your moves. Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me sure. so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is, I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. Lately, yeah, go for it. I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. I mean, are you sure you want my help? Of course I am. I'm not looking for technical coaching so much as just lending me an ear from time to time. I see. This sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? Well, they're the same option, so hopefully I'm helpful to you. Thank you. Then we've cut a deal. <laughs> I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you've gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Faith Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Okay, there's only five ranks to this persona or confidant. Interesting, okay. Alright. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? Huh? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. Oh yeah, my, it's been... yeah, my phone used to all the okay. time. I'll contact oh. you when I've got free time, if that's fine. I was gonna say what we gotta do is you gotta Attention, put your phone Shujin next Academy to a heater students. and that hit the battery will be and that'll terribly. allow you to uh, power on your phone. Please do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape.
I turn the castle me. Yo. Oh, uh, another box uh, came for you. Hey. <laughs> What'd you get? Man, that must have been what you ordered off TV. Jeez, it's insane how fast Amazon is, but we're finally home. You're all dusty. Hurry up and get changed. Jeez. Alright. Who all do we have social links with today? So, effectively, no one. Can we do, uh... Well, it was on the list. I doubt we can do, um... Good old Sajaro boss band guy. Well, we do need more guts. What can we use to build guts? Everything else off limits. I'm gonna try the Big Bang Burger, but I don't think we'll finish it. Welcome to the Big Bang Burger, open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. We are now offering a limited edition spring item, the Earth Burger. Uh, what can I get for you? Oh, at this time, uh, you can take the challenge for only 500 yen. Would you um. like to try it? Uh, as a second mate, the difficulty's mission will be increased. The challenge is still 500 yen because um, we're not very cost effective here at the uh, Big Bang Burger. But I don't care, they pay me hourly. Certainly. Well, now then, uh, go and take a seat, and, uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming back for the Big Bang Challenge. As you move up to the rank of second mate, this is your next foe. Whoa! Holy crap, it's Among Us! This is the Gravity Burger, a burger so large that it has its own gravitational field. That is technically true, because technically everything has its own gravitational pull, but everything's insin insignificantly weighted enough, or has, doesn't have enough mass to actually matter, as far as actual physics goes, but technically everything does have its own gravitational pull, because that's how physics work. But, you know, well, you know... I only went to college, you know, and graduated with a degree in physics, and now I'm working here at the Big Bang Burger. <sighs> but whatever. Once again, this will be no easy feat to overcome. But you should, you should conquer this challenge. You'll be rewarded with an extravagant prize. It'll be another pin and a bigger burger. <laughs> so, this is a good surprise too? To your yeah, best, Kimmy? Me. Well then, it's time... Uh, to get 30 minute Big Bang Challenge started. Are you ready? Go! I'll see you in 30 minutes when you die of cyanide poisoning. All this meat makes such. Uh, all this meat makes sense for such a challenge of such cosmic proportions. I'm rooting for you, remember. I'm gonna take less if you give it part way through. Oh, man. Uh, it didn't work out. He had time to get start, though. I guess it'll take quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. This will be difficult to finish the, the whole thing with my current guts, knowledge, and proficiency. Yep. But I admire your enthusiasm to <laughs> face the first teeth, though. Wanna head back? Come on, we should head home. I'm full just watching you. Morning! Hey, what's up? By the way, the exhibit's, uh, till the end of the week, right? 
Well, we did Wukun, and now we have the results. Yeah, I mean, you know, one head out. <laughs> yeah, true. It's more to take a breather after some hard work. But I feel like my body's weaker if I play around too much. Oh, yes. <sighs> I've actually gotten to fish lately, although it's just a uh, pond fishing from time to time. I can't, uh, go sea fishing because I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Alright, when people think of sailing the high seas, they take a look at pirates. Uh, even though they are often to plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force, for some reason, they end up getting ro romanticized. Tell that right, Kinnikun. What is the answer? Do you know the, uh, do you know which peg-legged parrot toting historic figure's parents became the visual shorthand for pirates? I would assume Captain Kidd. Is that somebody's persona? It's not Captain Kidd. It's John Silver. Huh. Alright. Yeah, John Silver. This is it. Very good. <laughs> That's correct. The answer is John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. The uh, story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction, in terms of not fish the pirates. Well, uh, Captain William Kidd made quite a name for himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he uh, hid all of his treasure in one place. Wow, he really got that right? Is he really a criminal? Oh, he seems like a punk. Oh, but maybe he's actually serious about studying? Ah, wow! He must be really smart to press the back button like that. I'm gonna make that joke every single time. Okay? Every single time I make that joke. Because... What else am I gonna say? The same dialogue over and over again. <laughs> Though research seems to indicate that he didn't really have, actually have much. Still, several novels were written based on his legend. And people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I heard that there's an island in... Kushuru, where kids' treasure is set to sleep. <laughs> kids see treasure, eh? Regardless of its actual worth, there's still plenty of value in letting uh, the people dream about it. Oh, I think... I didn't think she'd come. Maybe she's getting practice. I hate those events. All they do is make me dirty and tired. They'll do it again next year, eh? If they are, I'm definitely skipping. I think I too should this first year come along. Ah, <sighs> the whole I'm not bothered team is really pissing me off. <sighs> so to go see uh, she in the hospital. We talked about all sorts of stuff while I was there. But that just makes me think of even more I wanted to talk about. Do you think you could uh, listen to what I say? That's what you think. Will you send the, uh, some time lady on? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I'll be waiting at the usual restaurant. It's still a restaurant in town. Um. So I talked to Shu about what happened with uh, Mia. Our Mika pack at the photo shoot. And you know what she did? <laughs> Laughed! She couldn't stop talking about how tough she thought Mika sounded. Honestly, though, it's kind of refreshing. I'm not even mad anymore. I guess I really. Or you really just need someone to laugh at you to, if you want to feel better. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it seems that way. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, they say laughter is best medicine, right? I've seen the truth of that, that saying that firsthand. But anyway, even though I'm trying to stick to my heart, she was a real strong one here. Hey, I went to one of her rehab sessions the other day. She said she wanted me to be there. 
So I agree without thinking much of it, but it ended up being pretty overwhelming. I mean, how so? He was a lot tougher than I'd imagined. It was horrible. She was dripping with sweat, teeth clenched. She was clearly in a lot of pain. Apparently she can't even move her feet. She said it feels like her legs are filled with sand. But she dragged them along, legs swollen with blood. I just wanted to make her stop. By the time it was all over, she was in tears. It was really tough on her. She said she wanted to give up. And that's why she asked me to come, to keep motivated. The whole time she was complaining about things in ways she normally never would. But even with that, that she finished her session. I, I don't know why I'm crying. I, I didn't have to go through that. Is it... Is it because I'm weak? I'd say it's because you're kind. You're, you're wrong, you stupid idiot. You know, even through all the pain, I thought she was cool, beautiful even. Despite all her complaining, she still tried incredibly hard. Strength is more than just getting phased. It's the power to fight through adversity. <sighs> so I was thinking, um... What? What can I do to help Shio? I mean, show her your own strength. <laughs> my yeah. strength? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm just gonna give my all. You know, Kimmy, being with you really helps me see things clearly. What should I do? The yes. true meaning of strength. Well, um, thank you for that. That's just a hide motivation, Ron. All right. <sighs> My nose is all runny. W what? Are you looking at me for like that? Pretty girls get runny noses too, you know? Bye! I'll see you around. <laughs> oh, it's uh, me. Uh, thanks for earlier. I feel better now that I can talk to you about everything. Well, I'm gonna try and help my help Shio out in my own way. Maybe our relationship won't ever be exactly the way it was before, but now that I saw her crying, I know I'll find something new for her. Someone's motivated. <laughs> yep, I can't leave her behind me. Um, watch me. One day I'll be cool and strong, just like Shio. <laughs> Ah, I feel great now that everything's off my chest. You're such a great listener, Kimmy. Well, I hope I can uh, keep going you for everything. Okay, bye. Ah, you're back. Well, anything else we can do? We don't have enough guts to hang out with the teacher. Mashishima. Who's Yoshida? Is Yoshida the uh, redhead girl? Or is it this guy? Is he Yoshida? He might be Yoshida. Please consider what I have to say. There are two. There are far too many incidents re recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The one my trace in mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school of the corrupt teacher. We've yet to discover the truth of all of it. The Apti Permit Society is a direct result of negligence by our government in the media. You listen quite attentively. Are you politics? Yeah, sure. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captive the interest mm. in your age. Hmm. I can use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without experience. 
I'm sorry about that. However, I'm happy if you step stop by to hear me once speeches again. Well, that's all for today. I'm in the people's hmm. shoe shop. <sighs> the old man's speeches are impressive. That kind of talk, that kind of talk, might be useful for the negotiations metaverse. But I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. Uh, if you could just show me your dedication. Wait, he says in the full shop, right? Hi, base head, talking about, about the one in Central Street. If you work part time at the full uh, shop, show him what, what today's youth can do. <laughs> Look, I know it's a stretch, but a true fan thief can't let this opportunity slip by like this. Yeah, so that's, that's probably a Sheeta, so I mean. Eh, let's do it. The Beef Bull Stew Shop, wherever that is. I have no idea where that is. Oh, I guess it's here. Are you hungry or something? Well, we got a... That was oh. over proficiency, okay. So how do I work here? Oh. Okay. How do I even go inside? clothing store, huh? Well, we can't actually use it, apparently. Is it because it's nighttime? Oh, oh no idea. Alright. Any new books? I doubt it. Welcome. Nope. We still haven't finished our movie. Benny machine. Am I like... Why can't I... Oh, oh it's there. That's why I can't do it. I <laughs> stand by a ninja are fighting out. The plus bars are pretty crazy. Okay, I guess I can't play on that. Hmm. Just for show. Hmm. All right. Pretty good, huh? Uh, don't really want to do them, but I might not have any other choice. Uh, my nose is all itchy. The pollen's been really bad this time of year. <laughs> Are you okay, Raikkonen? You seriously look like a criminal if you had one of those algae masks to go along with your cool glasses. Hey, do you remember the, that horrible person I texted you about? You're gonna change the heart, right? I believe. If you did, it's the fan thieves. Hmm? See ya. Guess I can't actually do a social link. Cool. We have enough guts to do that social link. I guess let's just go back to uh, the cafe. We'll just watch a movie, finish that movie off, and then we'll come back here and get a new movie. That was a crosser puzzle. Are you gonna play the crosser puzzles? You have to other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. Let's play a little. What are the May Blues? Uh Well, they're the uh, team that uh beats Minnesota seemingly every year. 
I mean, St. Louis does fit. God damn it. Even this game's trolling me now. Okay. Doom's partner. Chahos? I could see it being chaos, so. Plant disease. Oh, we're screwed. Uh, ache. Okay, I guess it's not chaos. Doom's partner. What are the May Blues? I'm just trying to look at the words, or the letters, and try to make a seven letter word out of them at this point. And I can't. Well, this is not going to go very well. Um, well, what's Doom's partner? Partner. A five letter word partnering Doom. Like, I'm thinking Gloom, but I don't think I have enough O's for it. Oh, yeah, I do. Hold on. No idea. Well, what can I make that has an L and E at the end? We've got two A's. I'm thinking A L E or A L I. S E. I have no idea. Plant disease. No idea. Absolutely no idea.
Uh, I think gollies or whatever. I'm trying to make a word out of this at this point. How about ISC? So... Okay, that's not right. It doesn't surprise me at all. I just made up a word. So a six letter word, plant disease. What's a six letter word that has B? Let's, let's get rid of this. That has, I think that has six, six letters. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. So I like SC here. ISC. I mean, let's just pick letters. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Malalis. Yeah, obviously. Jeez, how's it been, how would anybody not get that? In Japan, the May Blues are named as such due to the change of seasons and are people who fall ill after the long holiday at April's end. Similar terms are used across the world. Students in the USA get the September Blues. After summer vacation, while well, the UK has the January blues to contend oh, with. I see. Oh wow, even I could figure nice. that one out. Because of course he couldn't, because who would figure that out? Like if there weren't letters in a box, All right. I would never have even pretended to guess that. But hey, we leveled our knowledge. Cool. Ah, oh, let's finish Wraith. You can see me? Please, tell him the truth. Don't worry. You're safe. Can you tell me what happened? It is a strange story about a woman who can speak with the spirits mm. of the deceased. <laughs> Was that ghost telling the truth? Am I on the edge of my seat here? Oh. <laughs> so he finished watching Wraith, huh? Maybe you learned to think about to you about kindness from watching this drama. Okay. Well, let's go return to oh. the TV soon. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Sorry. <sighs> that too. I couldn't hold it in. You have to ex uh, make some kind of excuse for me. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Employee posts nude chef selfie, while Duck Burger claims Jeff fired the employee in question. Those close to the man voice their surprise, vouching for his seriousness at work. Is Shibuya unsafe? Crime is rising. The police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hotbox Tokyo. Tickets for the uh, Madrami exhibit are available until June 5th. God, the Madrami exhibit goes on until June 5th. <laughs> That's the end of the week. We'll show them what a change art means. Well then. God, the pollens are prepared today. I bet it's expecting mementos too. 
Yo, I've been looking to, uh, Yachma lately. Thought I'd give you an update. Apparently he's been hanging out at the, uh, bunch of cottage shop a lot lately. I heard he gets real drunk there and pranks to his co-workers. So poor tune, right? If we get close, we might be like a spittle at him. I mean, you know, he'll notice you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's where you come in. He knows me, so I can't anywhere near him. But, he wouldn't care about you. I bet you could even sit next to his booth if you want him, Raleigh. So, I'll let you know what's figure out uh, when he's gone drinking. Till then, uh, we're gonna put our chair in hold. Yep. Well, I'll count you. Cause that's the truth, you'll be, uh, we won't be hanging out with Ruji for a while. I guess I'll be patient. Okay, so we have no, no one messaging us. I guess we do mementos. What are you people talking about? God, it's almost uh, the rainy season, but the constant rain pumps me out, and I don't want to do anything. What are you talking about? The rainy season's the time to get uh, ready goods. In fact, this little time drizzled NATO that sold in the Shibuya Station on the ground level. Wow, really? You know so much about specials. Okay, so it's Shib at Shibuya Station on the ground mall. Also, how do we... Request. Find near the school gate. Okay, let's go ahead and fill these out real quick. Or populate them. Why can't we talk to him if we can't build a social link? It's kind of weird. Can I just teleport to school gate? Yeah. Hey, hey! Hey, do you remember that target we had in Mentos? The one about the uh, mastermind book, the the mastermind behind the bullying? If that target is student Sujin, they can be nearby, we should gather some information. Are you sure about that? I can't imagine you want to release uh, the video of you stealing. Fine, just make the just make me believe people dry, so uh, Hey, you do all that on your own. Did you really want me to show you to us your teachers, huh? Tatsuki Khan? Hmm. Another word out of you, and I'll debut you fifth to the whole world. The Yoshimaru Soka tapes. That'll be a huge hit. Come on, you made me do it, damn it! <laughs> so big jerk was pulling the strings all along. We can do something about this. Finding the target. Cool. Oh, that. Was that all we needed for that one? I did, okay. Ask around Jungin. I mean, here's Jungin. Hey, hey! We gathered. Uh, have we got we haven't got any fish around the uh, cat dodgers, have we? Let's try to people around town. This year is as bad as all the others. That lady looks really happy now. It's because she's got a bunch of cats? I suppose. I personally don't think it's a bit too much. With that many, it gets so loud I can't even sleep at night. Hey! A bunch of cats? Hey, she probably want to talk about uh, the uh, cat nap case. Let's ask for more information. Can I help you? Uh, I'm concerned too. I heard about that that household as well. Well, she's bought a home. Uh, she brought home a mass of cats. I wasn't sure she's all right. It's terribly noisy, uh, noisy at night. They shed everywhere. I'm worried some of the healthiest environments raised those cats. That's worrying. Yeah, I agree. I even told landlord about the situation at Anno's uh, home, but it looks like nothing's changed. Do you know her full name? Huh? Her, her name? I'm not sure. I only say hello to her every now and then, so I don't know her that well. So, here's what we learned from the uh, that mother and child. This Anna lady suddenly adopted a lot of cats. That's concerning. That's that there's concern about the noises at night and the shedding. The cats might be acting that way because they're stressed. Okay. Well, we might be able to find some other clues. <laughs> Let's keep asking around Youngin. There's a lot of rumors about it. Three. 
Is there anyone else to talk to? Hmm? Ah, have you been to uh, Shibuya lately? Ah, yes. I went to see Maldorama's exhibit. They were talking about it on uh, Good Morning uh, Japan. There's been uh, some scary accidents happening recently, so try to be careful. Oh, you're right. Going back in April is terrible. I hope that sort of thing won't happen again. That was not helpful in the slightest. Still my ID, them. Oh, this is actual house. Okay. Is there anywhere else in a youngin? Not really. I mean, yeah, I guess we'll, we can come back another day, try to find the idea of them. Let's do the uh, dock appointment. Allergies are so annoying. Your <sighs> allergies. I have good medicine for them. Just one dose should uh, take care of them in theory. So, are you here for today? Yeah, let's do a clinical trial. I wish I could study Tad outside uh, once in a while, like Spacious Park. Somewhere in such a crowd would be best. Maybe I'll look uh, for once a time. Alright, let's get to the clinical trial. Eh, that's fine. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Playing with the uh, Tamaki? Let's do it. Spielberg gas at least. I mean, yeah, sure, it's the biter, why not? Ishaka Park? Hmm, that might be a good idea. It's a bit far, but let's check it out. <laughs> this place should work. The conditions here are perfect for gathering Ted outside of the clinic. This should also help me uh, see the reactions to more external variables, such as the change in the environment. Well, sh then shall we begin? Yeah, so what's on today's menu? <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't I lucky to have such a crop test subject? You're really helpful. Now then, let's strip and go for a swim the lake. I'm only kidding. We're gonna do a control test. I want to record some data without you ha have taken any medicine. I need to get some comparison data, and today I'm gonna gather every last bit. That the more test data I have, the more useful our health will be. This is important, so don't slack off. Well, uh, go for a run. About uh, five kilometers should do. Well, <laughs> not kidding this time. I'm grateful. Okay, well done. Thanks for operation. Five kilometers. What is that? Three miles ish? Ah, uh, you're back. Somewhere around there. Probably about three, three point two miles, three point two five. Hmm. I assume you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Manrame is still bedridden. He has not spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. <laughs> Come on, it's very false, don't worry. Isn't it June already, though? The exhibit will be ending soon. Eh, at least it doesn't seem like majority of the middle shutdown. But there's no point if, uh, if you don't have to change your heart and call that like a bullshit action. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamoshida? Pretty much. Yeah, Kamoshida was out of school for a while. Either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether their heart, whether or not the heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. Ah, <sighs> we'll stay uh, here from Madron and uh, what his deal is. Yeah, there's uh nothing we can really do, so let's just try waiting a longer. <laughs> what about that uh, stuff you got from well, the uh, suit of armor? I mean, 
Well, there's a laundry mat next to the uh, bathhouse, right? Yeah, but I'm... I don't want to do that. I can't level him up, it looks like. What has everyone else done? I've no idea who Iowa is. Uh, I mean, we need to build up our guts. Let's turn into the movie. Central Street. Alright, well, let's return the movie and let's get some for Guts. Because we do need Guts. Welcome, we've got some new DVDs in. Return a DVD? Thank you very much. Is there anything you else you need? Thank you very much. Please come back soon. Not the clinic. There we go. Oh, you're back. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh yeah, you're at some, right? scratched or bitten, have you? It is a story about people trying to survive in a city infested with zombies. Uh, talk about a dead man walking. I saw dogs in there too, but not a single cat. Mm. <sighs> what a scary world. I wouldn't want to have anything to do with that. But I bet it's some of a little more cuts if I watch this drama. Well then. I'll start getting late. Let's have the bed soon, okay? I want to ask you something. Why did Mr. Kamashita change all of a sudden? You know, he grew conscious. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sudden. Bit. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Well then. God, the pawn's really bad today. <laughs> I bet it's fake Mentos hey. too. Hey, should you tell the others about the uh, target Mentos? Not really. So who all can we do? Let's do a uh, Takamaki. I guess we could do on. Uh, I'd rather build our guts up. Let's just get Takamaki. Allergies are so annoying. Are <sighs> allergies? I have good mess them. Just uh, one dose should take care of them in theory. So what are you doing today? I apologize. <sighs> I'm still studying yesterday's clinical trial. The results are very interesting. We prompt do another trial until day after tomorrow. Okay, so only that every three days. Interesting. All right, let's find on. Maybe. Maybe on's not real.
are none available? Maybe none are available right now. Okay. Well... I guess let's try to get a job at the uh, big Super Bowl or whatever. The uh, yeah. Oh. Still don't know how. Let's go to Youngin, why not? Those cats in Hans Todd's home are okay. I know if my landlord, but it looks like nothing's changed. Not helpful. Oh! Oh! Good to see you! What? I mean, I guess we do need a level of proficiency, so let's do it. Not the matter of play the baseball minigame. Welcome. Welcome. Hey, <laughs> Enjoy hey. your time here. Oh, that's right. He got a free play ticket. Can you use it? Alrighty. So use the free play ticket. Then you'll pay this time. All right. Not the matter do this. Good luck. <laughs> it looks like you haven't won the uh, slugger prize or the home run prize yet. Well, uh, do your best and uh, don't get work too worked out. That was not even close. <sighs> okay. A little more under it. Way too early. Hey, hey. Way too early. <sighs> oh, we hit it. Yes. Hey, you remember the horn pro circle blast back next time. Yeah, let's do that one. Good luck. There we go. That's all run. Nice. We hit make contact. Yes. Nine plus. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Ah, whatever. We got home run at least. <sighs> Here you go. Well, looks like both of us draw your bat. Here you go, the home run prize. Hey, hey. Good luck. <sighs> Little early. Okay. That felt perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, let's slug a prize at least. Okay. That's five hits. Here you go. Oh, you missed a shot. Well done. I'll give you the slug a prize. Mm -hmm. Machine sent back in 
uh, sent in for maintenance so back in July. So we're planning to add another course back. lineup. All right, let's head home. Ah, you're back. Oh yeah, let's do uh, a sword draw right for now. our race pronounced today. Uh, it's time off my clock day. How about it? I teach you the ropes. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna help the chief out? Might All as well. Right, then. Uh, put stuff down and grab your apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sir Skyrim is extremely precise. I did stole me. Maybe there's a way to make a uh, soldier make sure he has a good time. Let's uh, give him the only good time left. Oh, never mind, we got more. Tea? I mean, sure. For me? Well, uh, uh, what do I do with this? I mean, whatever. It's not that counts. You know, I literally own a coffee shop, so you give me tea? That doesn't make any sense. Thanks. Well, thanks for coming out. Hey! <sighs> We're gonna grab a seat. Why don't you uh, read something until we get there? Let's do charm. Hmm? The ABCs of picking up ladies. God, the, uh, the picture of the author, that smug grim just irritates me. Hey, hey! Oh, I didn't realize uh, how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Seems like you still have a few pages left. Maybe you should change some other time. We're almost at the station. I'd say that was efficient use of your time. Ah, uh, just a muckery or whoever. All right. Oh, this guy. Hey there. Mm -hmm. Where are you headed home? If you're okay with it, I'd like some input from you. Do you have time right now? There's no pressure, obviously, but yeah, let's let's uh, level them up. Hmm. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna help, uh, Marguerite this research? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> great. I've just, uh, finished a counseling session. <laughs> now, uh, meet me in the nurse's office. Well, I'll, I'll walk around. I'll leave it to me. I'll let me know when you're ready to leave. Hmm. Hmm. I've been getting a lot of students coming here ever since I arrived. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of... Well, it's been kind of a relief. The whole mess with uh, Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of uh, free-floating uh, anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, most of the things on everyone's mind were college entry exams, you know, relationship problems, in other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars of innocent, yes. But, at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. I mean, thanks to you, probably. <laughs> well, I can hope so. I don't think I've done much, but you know, I've helped. If I've helped even one person, that makes it all worth it. I'm not the most reliable guy, but I will remember you can always talk to me too. If something's bothering you. I'm the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that to ask you for help, but. Yeah, uh, remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Yeah, our deal. Heh, 
I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry. I'll be doing anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions so... with me. Well, let's see. Maybe I should start with at the beginning. I could tell you about what this uh, this research is for. What I am studying now is pain felt from the mind, or perhaps more facilely in the heart. Some small examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer, pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Body physical pain can't be thought of as something necessary. An atomic response to injury, illness, or whatever. Still... What about pain felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It is something strange and immaterial. I guess that's how it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts you and know, minds. I... And, uh, well, I want to learn more about th this and these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your hearts, Raikkonen Goon? I mean, either or, probably. I don't know, guess I'm someone betrays me. As I see, I can sympathize the, there. Sometimes, all it takes is one betrayal for an intense trust to turn into intense pain. It can be rough, it doesn't feel good to start with pain in your heart. For example... But, with that in mind, how about the uh, pain of broken heart, then? After all, that kind of pain is only formed because we fall in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, uh, Raikkonen Goon? I mean... You know, that one kind of seems necessary. True, it provides and validates the, the love that came before it, after all. A very fitting answer from you. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. Anyway, and I agree, of course, and I think it's a fair assessment. Though personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Hmm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a, in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research, to save people who are suffering from internal pain, they keep holding on to. You've helped me realize the purpose again. Thank you. I mean, did that help? Right. Of course! Thanks to you, I can articulate my thoughts for once. Alright. Okay, I think I'll do for oh. today. Hmm. Why do I feel like I've forgotten <gasps> something? Oh, uh, your mental training! Uh, d d I didn't forget our, our promise, of course. I'll teach you the tricks of our mental discipline, and you'll help me with my research. Just some side, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Thanks to, uh, Ricardo's mental training, right. I might feel stronger. Oh, and, uh, here, have about time for a snack, right? Well, see you. Okay, <laughs> now. We're ready to wrap things up. Oh, this is a uh, mockery. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished uh, my last can session for the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Yeah, good luck over there. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they're here. They got some out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough to juggle this job and my other research at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking for you to help more frequently from now on. It bit me a lot if you could lend a hand. Alright, see you later. Ah, you're back.
Oh, all right. Ah, we can build his gauntlet. Right Might now. as well. All right. Yeah, I'll sell him out. This guy is still extremely precise. Yeah, I did just stole me. Maybe there's a way to make sure sh uh, Sergio had a good time. Maybe we'll call him Sergio, cause why not? Oh, that's right. I have something to give uh, Sergio. Something he might like. I feel like he may anticipate something useful to him. I don't think any of this is useful to him. Let's be honest. This is for me? You're really bad at this. Thanks. Don't think he's me out. We're getting started. <sighs> it's just been getting humid lately, huh? But it's times like these when you've just got to push the funk to let the weather get to you. Well, that was the plan anyway. Uh, then I got police officers asking me what I was up to. Do I look that suspicious? Yes. Anyways, uh, speaking of looks, have any of you seen someone you thought was cute and immediately decided they must be nice to? That process is totally normal. It, if not, it's always accurate. There's even a name for it. You. Uh, any guess, Raikin Akun? What do you think the name for this phenomenon is? I'm gonna go with the word I can't pronounce. It's the halo effect. Sure. This yeah, is the it. halo effect. Right. Correct as far as you do. When you get struck by uh, superficial qualities, your broader perception of someone can be bi biased. Once you get that get that far, it's hard to make totally objective judgments. Like, that person is quiet, so they must be scary. No Stuff way. like that. Oh, you actually knew that? God, I wish I could use my phone in class. Going? Wow, you must have really smart at the back button like that. Now the picture and picture button, I guess. Hmm. Well, the halo effect isn't all that bad, but I recommend you give uh, people the chance to find themselves to just make snap judgments. After all, it'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing some truly wonderful... Tr something truly wonderful about someone, right? God, plenty of terrible people put perfectly decent on the outside, but Lady Anne looks perfect, and <laughs> she is perfect. <laughs> God, it's raining. Weather may bear all the same effect on Mentos as, as on a human. Yeah, let's do some more studying. <sighs> How are your studies going? Everything good here? I enhanced the message again. I think it'll help you make real progress in your studies and whatnot. Well, to, what do you say? You want to test it out? Let's do it. Good answer. This really helped me out. Okay, let's stop by the clinic. I'll have everything ready for you. Well then... In that case, code the, ex and the exam, huh? So, this is the Takami Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine. Hmm. Well, I'm glad it's still open. But, like, why is it so small and why are there chains over there? This doesn't really seem like an actual medical clinic. And... I don't know. Something just seems a bit off by this. 
Wait, uh, sorry, I, I have a child I need to get examined. Ah, <sighs> looks like emergency with, or it looks like page with emergency. Jeez. And? <sighs> so why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? Hmm, I've never noticed this place. I'd like you to examine her. She was diagnosed with, uh, bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away, and she's losing the weight because she's not hungry. Yeah, long, a young girl losing weight definitely is not good. You should go to a big hospital. I can't provide a third examination here. We've been to a big hospital, a university hospital in East uh, Shinjuki. But all I tell us is that she's bronchitis. <laughs> a university hospital in East Shinjuki? Shunjunku. <laughs> the doctor there performs exam exams like he's on the silly line. I think it's fair or something. A famous doctor, eh? I'm just a general practitioner. <sighs> Out here in the sticks. <laughs> As you can see, I don't even have any staff. Oh, wait, I heard there's medicine that got me right here. Please, I'll pay you. Please, just uh, let me let the examiner. Hey. Hold on. <clears throat> My chest, like, really hurts. Yeah, doctor help you. What? What? A doctor. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Uh, is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm. No signs of swelling. Are you sure you told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you tried so far? Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure. Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, uh son. It's just Dr. Schweiz uh, Schweitzer there. I, there's something I'd like to ask him about this case uh, that was in last month's medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in shock will have to do. And there's a shelf on the right reception desk. Bring contents in the second drawer into the examination room. You'll need me to help administer the medicine. Also, bring in the beaker with the red, red label in the fridge. A towel, wash basin, and Fine. a measuring spoon. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving! Oh, I think it's a bunch. I think it's going so quickly. It's a very unique strain of infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I've temporarily suppressed these symptoms. We'll make adjustments as our condition improves. Okay, that'll be 10 million yen for today. <laughs> a million yen? That's outrageous! You can really take advantage of... Uh, I mean, alright, I agree to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. <laughs> what, you actually gonna pay? <laughs> By the way, that famous documentary earlier, was it Medical uh, Chief of Staff Oyamana? Uh, yes, I'm familiar with them. <laughs> I knew it. In that case, I'll make free of charge. Uh, free? <laughs> yeah. You seem happy. <laughs> Does it feel good treating his patient without permission? By the way, thanks to your outburst earlier. I was going to perform a very special exam on you today. Uh, so, he's your assistant? He seems awfully young. Yeah, he's my assistant, uh, guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today, aren't you? Doctor, can I uh, go back to school now? Yeah, not for a while. You need to start eating and regain your strength first. Can you do that for me? Uh, yes. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Don't mention it. Uh, your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll ha have this time. Maybe you won't be able to go make it home. Cool, we leveled our, our, more of our guts. Nice. Bye. Okay, good work today. <sighs> I 
how you feel now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one, huh? Maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Especially after approving that girl's consult by permission. I mean, fine, I'll reflect on my mistakes. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, I'm only letting this go today. Don't pull anything like that again, unless you want to die. But that drug does seem more stable compared to the other stages, though. It's probably thanks to cooperation. It feels I'm almost there, so try to die just to the end, okay? Alright, take care. Ah, you're back. You're home. Ah, the, exhi the exhibition ends tomorrow. Matrame must have had his change harp now, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. Uh, so far, no one's come uh, charging, uh, come charging us or anything, yeah? <sighs> but he wouldn't wait till he wouldn't. Wouldn't he wait to press charges till after the ex exhibition or ex ex exhibition? Yeah. What should you do if he's someone contacts about tomorrow? Eh, try asking Yusuke. He might. Uh, he'll still be staying with. You still stay with uh, Madrame, right? Oh, that's right. Where is Yusuke? I wonder if, if he'll be okay with uh, Madrame. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm late to contact you all. It seems something will certainly hap be happening tomorrow. Madrame's on the phone as we speak. What do you mean something? I believe he's preparing for a media announcement. I didn't hear any announce anything about pressing charges. <laughs> I guess you gotta wait about then. I'll just meet in Shibuya tomorrow. The okay, see you then. Finally ending tomorrow. I'm sure things will work out fine this time too. Yeah, let's build Scarfin on. Time right now. <sighs> All right then. So we really need to level them up. But I don't think we're going to anytime soon. Oh, I can give him a gift. Probably because he ate all my gifts before. What's up with that old geezer? You know, let, let's do this. Uh, probably a bit early call it. But this is major story event, and I want that to be a star of an episode here, so we'll do. We'll call this an episode here. I'll see you guys next one here, and we'll just go from the change of heart, effect it all the way through till, I guess, the next exams or whatever. I have no idea how that works. Or till we find the next person, or at least three hours worth. But yeah, I'll do this episode of Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys next one. Until then, peace.